Hi, and welcome to a vibrant episode of Oregon Photo Adventure. Hello. We're at the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival, which is located just outside of Woodburn, Oregon. I'll show you how to scout for photo opportunities and how to survey the lay of the land for maximum photographic impact. After a long Pacific Northwest winter, there's nothing like the sight of seeing 40 acres of tulips in bloom all at once to help shake off the rust from winter. Don't get me wrong, I love winter and skiing more than most people do, but still, I appreciate the sensation of seeing all this outrageous color after months of viewing drab colored landscapes. I'm Dan Sherwood. Please join me as we step forward into spring. In hope of capturing a colorful sunrise, we began our day bright and early. Let's hear it for these little on-camera flashes. <laughs> Excellent. Not bad for a little pop-up flash. Right now, I'm, just, I'm waiting for the light to get better. I'm gonna get down a little closer and make the foreground more prominent here. Because right now we have a very bright sky with the rising sun in the east. And it's still almost night down here on the ground. So the trick is to match those exposures. And sometimes having a, the right little graduated neutral density filter can help get the job done. You could always just shoot two exposures one for the sky and one for the foreground, and then combine them in Photoshop, but oh, better to do it in one exposure. That way you spend less time in the in front of the computer. More time we had out here in the field. So we're just a couple minutes before the sun sticks its head up over the horizon, and the uh, contrast is too great between the bright sky and the still dark foreground and it's getting beyond what I can do with my uh, neutral density filter so what I'm gonna have to resort to is sandwiching a couple exposures together in Photoshop I'll take first one of the sky to get all the the detail in the clouds and once I get that recorded well, I'll Reset the dials for the foreground. And then we'll combine them in Photoshop and have an image that shows the complete tonal range of the scene. That last shot was for the foreground exposure and detail. As you can see, had nice detail and exposure in the foreground, but the sky is completely blown out. But imagine this foreground with that sky. As you can see the foreground is nothing but pure silhouette. This exposure, replace it with that. You have an image that has a full tonal range. Cool, looks like we're going to get a second sunrise coming above that cloud again. Uh, on some mornings, if you get a good morning, you can see the sunrise on the horizon and then again from behind a cloud. And on this morning, we're actually getting a third sunrise. 
where it rose this morning and then went behind a cloud, came out, and now it's doing it again. I'm trying to line it up where the sun is just on the left edge of the windmill. That way it'll diffract around the edge of the windmill. And A, it doesn't create such a highlight that it ruins the exposure. And it also makes a nice starburst effect as well. Way to control a very bright sun. Well, I think it's time to turn around and look the other way. We've been facing into the sun and it's getting too bright and contrasty to continue doing that. Now the rest of the land is all lit up now, so it's time to face the other way and make use of good frontal light.